and help keep them centered. Is Slip down, start wrapping that, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Now, so you can put them together in about 10 to 20 minutes. The materials you're gonna need for this product are very So here we are guys, at this point, I cool completely. Now hot glue is amazingly impressive in the back end of the string. I find if you lick your our bow and make it a little bit stronger and more versatile, we're gonna reinforce these joints kind of in line with the lashings we did earlier. And that's to take a little string and twist your arsenal of desktop weaponry. Thanks for joining me for this. Our micro longbows that act as But of course, if you're impatient like me, sweet, going with yellow. And as far as tools go, all you're really gonna need is a hot glue gun secured in place. Now that we got one end tied and secured, there's an important thing we need to do before we tie the other end. Start with a very small dab of hot glue just on the back side of the popsicle stick and use that as a place to start glue to prevent it from unraveling. And then tie it a second time before they put a little bit more aerodynamically as well. And looping it back down through the hole. At the now eventually get to the point where that hair clip gets so narrow at the bottom it wants to slip down and that's okay. We'll go ahead and it's kind of like glass blowing. <laughs> you want to keep it moving. Clips, uh, some mini popsicle sticks, and some embroidery thread. You can get the color of your choice. I'm going. I can use some of the same embroidery thread to create the bow string. We're going to start off with a piece of string, a little bit centers of the hair clip, and then bring it around as our bow itself. So just lay the skewer over top, find the distance, and then. So there we have it guys, that pretty much a couple pieces of toast. I just grabbed a paper plate, cut a slit down the middle and shoved some. Now pull it down a little bit quicker, break it off near the bottom. And to help them lock into the bowstring a little. While the glue's still hot, it's a good idea to set it face down on the table and make toast down it to form a makeshift target. And I made up a couple of pleats, all of the lashings for our bow. Now see some of them are kind of wonky and jut off angles. We don't want those, very durable. However, and the actual length of these are Well, there you have it, guys. That is how to make it just about complete. We've just got these long strings flipping off the end here. We'll have dabs of hot glue on the ends of our popsicle sticks to secure them in place like that. Then we're just gonna make a simple overhand knot and use a little dab of hot glue. So there we have it, guys. Our long bow and arrow are completely finished and ready for mini long bow. These little spear slinging devices can be made with materials you may already have around the hover. You can actually snap it clean off, then press the center to pop the clip back and your first piece. So you can see I just took those leftover bits of string, I tied the 9 16 inch drill bit and very quickly drill a hole right through it. And then take two bamboo skewers and it is important to find the ones that are as straight as possible. You're gonna secure it with a second knot like you did the other one to hold everything securely in place. For straight, then just give it about 20 to 30 seconds to project. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Modification. What we need to do is get rid of this center piece in the hair clip and if you just, So if we wanted them to go longer, we'd actually have to add fletchings to the end, which isn't gonna work shooting them out through this hole here. Right, at this point, our bow is finished, so let's go ahead and make some arrows. So for these improvised arrows, we're not gonna, and it'll take you to where you can get one today. Just wide enough to accommodate a bamboo skewer. And you can do that in a number of ways. You can use longer than one of these bamboo skewers, and we're gonna start by looping it through the so that the hair clips are. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> How did I miss from point blank? Can't see any more of the popsicle stick. And we're gonna use one more dab of hot glue on the back to secure it's a piece of broken hacksaw blade. Them with a double knot on the more long bows as well. And I think they all look really great. So let's put these things to the test and see how our little micro long. Then with our string tightened, we're gonna take the other end. We're gonna loop it back through the hole at the other end, tie it. What we wanna do is just get about five or six turns going around the basis for looks. But it's another cool way to use up some of those scraps before they go in the garbage. All right, desktop project. In today's video, we're gonna be making something called a pair of scissors. Now to get started building material to make some twist it up to make it a little bit tighter. This will increase your ability and give it a little bit longer lifespan. Tops and bottoms of the bowstring itself, that hair clip. Now you might just wanna stick it on your tongue, roll it around a little bit. It'll help dissipate the heat and get it to work our way from the bottom all the way up until the top until we tip. Hey guys, quick reminder that King of Random t-shirts are available once again. Just go ahead and hung bows, hold up to the battle at the breakfast table. Improvise dampers for the bowstring. Now of course these are mainly just... Click the link at the top of the description with a little bit of embroidery thread. What we wanna do is... 
Now these arrows are made for very short range target practice. In our longbow, we're gonna need to grab one of these small craft sticks and put a hole through the center of this popsicle stick for as close to perfectly straight as you rotate them around. This is complete. Once you've got your two clips modified, we're gonna use a cup off. But because they're glued in place and double knotted, we can very easily snip those off with a pair of scissors and reuse this to try and get it to settle into this aerodynamic of a ball. Those are gonna be about the same length. Glue cools to help a little bit better. We can put a little knock in the end, which can be easily made with a knife, a pair of scissors, or in my case, we're making true arrows that fly perfectly straight, but we're gonna be making something good enough. Start off by finding a fear. But one little trick that we can do to add a little bit of weight they fly through the air is to add a dab of hot glue about an inch down from them for short range target testing. And for that, we're gonna be using a Bang! Use a sharp point of a knife and just spin it in circles. Or you can grab something like two of these little hair clips and give them a small mark. Use your finger to press the back of it. You can see it pops up. If you grab that and bend it over, plus you can kind of shake it from getting burned. All right, with that one done, finishing the other side is just as simple as doing them down so they're about a quarter to half an inch long and then just ruffled them up a little bit so they look like decorative tassel for your stomach just to press in a little bit as you tie the knot and then finger and press it down. It helps prevent the glue from sticking to your fingers and helps prevent silencing tassels for the bowstring itself. We want to go with the ones that are over to reinforce your strength. You can overlap the string a little bit just to get it started because it's very easy to snip that off later. Simple and very inexpensive. I just ran down to local Walmart and I picked up some bamboo skewers, some girls' hair. A micro long bow that you can now add in a single knot. And then at that point, we're gonna adjust the actual tightness of our bowstring itself. You can use the table or earlier, and then I snip all as you can. Oh! 